<gasps> no way! <gasps> Holy mother of Arceus! <gasps> Hello my fellow Pokemon trainers and welcome back to my randomizer Nuzlocke challenge of Pokemon Leaf Green version. I'm Purple Rodri. Last time we took down Pewter City's gym leader Brock and we obtained the Boulder Badge. That is the first out of eight badges here in the Kanto region. We got seven more to go and we've been stopped. Oh, Rodri! I'm glad I caught up to you. I'm Professor Oak's aide. I've been asked to deliver this, so uh, here you go. We received the running shoes from the aide. Thanks so much, aide. That's gonna help us out a whole lot. Well, I must be going back to the lab. Bye bye. See you later, aide. Say hi to Oak for us. There's a letter attached. Dear Rodri, here's a pair of running shoes from my beloved challenger. Remember, I'll always cheer for you. Don't ever give up. From mom. Aw, oh, isn't our mom so sweet? Sending us the running shoes, sending us out on our way. We are now on Route 3, and we're going to have some battles coming up, so let's jump right in. It is showtime here. That is going to be Last Janus. She has two Pokemon ready to go. The first Pokemon is going to be a Wishmer, and I have Sun up in front, and we should be good to go. Hope you guys have been having a good day. I woke up pretty early today, but it's been raining since this morning, so every time it rains... Me and Spot will just lay in bed for a bit. He likes the rain a lot. I like the rain a lot. It keeps me relaxed. So we'll just lay there pretty comfy. And we did that a bit today. Spot's running around now. He's a little more awake. He's outside in the living room right now waiting to get back into the room. Whenever I play Pokemon, I can't have him in here because he gets angsty. He'll start running around. He'll start like nudging me. Be like, dude, I'm playing through some Pokemon right now, man. Come me a break. So, you know, he's out there right now in the living room having a good time. He likes to run around, he likes to play. That's what we usually do in the mornings, and I have a lot of fun. But today, I have to tell you guys, the rain, it also gives me this feeling of nostalgia. Because I grew up in El Salvador as a kid, it always rained there. It was always raining. And I remember some of my fondest memories are just watching TV while it rained outside. You know, it was really, really relaxing. I'd love just watching TV for hours on end while it was raining. To this day, it's still... A very very nice hobby to have you know whenever it rains I can just sit back relax watch some TV or play games and that's what I felt like doing today I had the itch to play more Pokemon while it was raining it's still raining out and I'm feeling really good I'm happy to be here playing through this with you guys I really do appreciate all the support you guys have shown me you guys really do seem to be enjoying this adventure and I'm enjoying it a whole lot as well it's been an absolute blast to get to play through this game with you guys. It always is a blast to get to play through any gens. I was reading through the comments that you guys left me and one of the comments said, feels like we are watching a parallel universe. And I have to tell you guys, that is exactly how it feels playing through this as well. Because I originally played through Pokemon Fire Red on my channel. And I have to tell you guys, back in those days, I always had the, in the back of my mind the thought that someday I'm gonna play Pokemon Leaf Green. And as I did more randomizer Nuzlocke challenge, I was like, yeah, Leaf Green will definitely come up as a randomizer Nuzlocke challenge someday. And here we are. It's been almost 10 years of me doing this. So it's like we've come full circle. We're back to Gen 1. And now we're in that parallel universe. And we are taking on everything that's going to be coming here on this earth. You know what I mean? Next up is going to be a route. We're doing pretty good with Sun here. So let's keep it up. As I told you guys, I'm a big fan of comic books. And in a lot of comic books, the DC Universe and the Marvel Universe, they have a multiverse. So there's like Earth 1 or 2 or 3, and every Earth is a little bit different. This is how it feels here. It's like we're on Earth 2. Things are similar, but a little bit different. You know, just slight tweaks, which is very, very cool. So thank you guys for leaving all these comments. It's a lot of fun reading through them. I'm glad you guys are having fun playing through this as well. I know a lot of you guys have been watching me for a long time. Whether you started watching me in Platinum, Heart, Gold, Emerald, whatever the Let's Play was, I'm glad to have you guys here joining me again for another go at the gens. So Sun has grown to level 12. We defeated Bugcatcher Colton, and we are moving on through. Let's keep it up. We're going to have another battle coming up. I'm going to keep Sun in front for now. Sun's gaining some XP. We're doing quite good. I don't think we have too big of a type disadvantage just yet. If needed, I'll switch them out. For now, we're just going to keep on going. We're going to keep on trucking. That is Youngster Ben coming out with a Smeargle. You know, we've seen a lot of these Pokemon in the routes, though. I have to tell you guys, when I was training our Pokemon previously, I've just been training them on the routes that we already went through because the Pokemon are a little bit lower level now as well. Less of a chance of getting knocked out at all. You can pretty much just train them forever there. 
and it's really good XP. But seeing a lot of smear goals out there. So when I was training off screen, a lot of smear goals. Ooh, I hit a crit. Let's hope we don't get critted later. I don't like getting critted now because I know how the tables turn. You know what I mean, guys? The turns table. Taylo is going to be coming out. Let's keep it up. Sun is doing really, really good for us. I want to throw Sun into the action here. And so I felt like Sun would be doing a good job. And it really worked out that way. So let's keep on going for the confusion. The Taylo is confused. I'm going to go for one more. I believe we're going to be coming up on a patch of grass next. So we'll have to see what kind of Pokemon we are going to find. The confusion should wrap up the Taylo. That is it. That's another crit. Oh, no. Oh, no. We don't want these crits coming our way. We learned Rock Throw. Cool. I'll take it. We defeated Youngster Ben. I don't like these crits that are coming out now. Especially in a randomizer Nuzlocke. We can have these crits now, but in the long run, let's hope that they don't come back to bite us. So let's keep it going and let's jump into our next battle. That is going to be Bug Catcher Greg with a Metapod. As I was telling you guys though, I'm a big fan of superheroes, of comic books. I was actually thinking of a story today because I've been playing some League of Legends with my friend Brian and we'll reminisce here and there. And I thought this was a good story. We named our rival Brian for a reason. Me and my friend, we used to compete a lot on RuneScape when we were in middle school. But we actually met before that. We became friends in middle school. But we were like friends of friends before that, right? I remember we went to this birthday party once. It was our friend Robbie's birthday party. And we were in elementary school, so we were young. It was maybe like his 8th, ninth birthday party. I don't remember. We were all young. But, you know, it was back in the day. This was before Iron Man came out. Alright, guys? So I'm talking way back. It was when the first Hulk movie came out. Some of you guys may be too young to remember, but there was a Hulk movie, then there was the Incredible Hulk, then, you know, we have Mark Ruffalo as the Hulk now, but there was like a first Hulk. And I remember when that first movie came out, it was a big deal. It was like, whoa, superheroes are coming. I never thought I would see it on the big screen other than Spider-Man, you know? So when Hulk came out, they came out with a bunch of toys. There were like the Hulk gloves, there were like Hulk masks. So anyways, these Hulk gloves, they were big gloves, I think they still have them now. And you'd smash them together and it'd be like, Hulk smash! So I remember we were at my friend Robbie's birthday party, and we were just talking about, you know, all the toys that are coming out. And he's like, yeah, I just really hope someone doesn't give me those Hulk gloves. He was like, I really don't want them, you know? And he was telling me and Brian that. We just kind of like, oh, okay, yeah, you know, I get it. You don't want the Hulk gloves, whatever. Then, you know, we get around, everybody has fun, they cut the cake, whatever it is. We come around to opening presents, right? And I just remember the presents start getting open, you know, we all give them whatever it is. And then this bo big box comes up, right? And then he starts opening it. And immediately, I feel like as soon as he tears it, I knew what it was. Me and Brian just kind of looked at each other because we saw them and it was the gloves. And our friend Robbie just kind of looked at him and smiled. It looked at us and we were just cracking up, you know? We were just cracking up because he did not want the Hulk gloves. We were just like, wow, dude. And you know, we we're like, take them out, dude, take them out, play with them. And we were just laughing, you know? And I think from that day, you know, me and Brian caught on that. We could both spot that sort of thing, you know? We had a little bit of an inside joke and we slowly became friends off of that. Uh, it's a funny memory we still have to this day. And we just crack up every time we think about it. It's cool to see though how far superheroes have come, you know? I tell that story back in the day when I didn't ever think I would see superheroes on the big screen. I never thought the day would come where we would see Iron Man up there, you know, or Thor. It's crazy. We've come so far. Everybody should be real thankful that we have all these superheroes on the big screen. Because as a kid, I did not expect it. That's why now, I feel so lucky when I get to watch them on the screen. I'm like, yeah, this is sick. This is amazing. I'm going to support all of them. Because I never thought I'd see this as a kid. It's like a dream come true out here. That is a Trapinch level 10. I'm going to go for the tackle here, which isn't going to do a whole lot. We really got to get ourselves a grass type or a water type. So that is what's going to help us out a whole lot right now. The Trapinch is going for the bite. Oh, no. Oh, no. We're switching out. We're sending out Thanos. And let's hope that Thanos can take down the Trapinch. Here comes a sand attack. I'm feeling pretty good here, though. Let's go for the peck. And I missed. You have got to be kidding me. The Trapinch is messing me up with the bite. Well, luckily, we do have Thanos Poison 
point. Really glad to have added Thanos to the team too. You guys left me a lot of comments supporting the nickname. I like this nickname a lot too. I think it is quite fitting. So I'm glad you are enjoying it as well. If you guys can think of any Pokemon that, you know, we might bump into in some nicknames, definitely leave them down below. I'll read through them. And if we bump into that Pokemon, I'll definitely take your nicknames into consideration. So let's take down the Trapinch. And I'm liking it. That is going to be a lot of XP. And we defeated last Sally. Doing pretty good here, taking down all these trainers. I knew it was going to be trouble going through here, but we've been doing a fine job. So I'm pretty happy with that. Now, I'm going to switch it up. We'll put Thanos up in front for now. And let's keep on trucking through the battles. The patch of grass is right there, guys. So we're one step closer to where we need to be. I know today we're pretty much just going to be running through the routes, trying to level up a little bit, doing our thing. But that's how it goes, you know. I have a lot of fun with that. Sometimes you just got to enjoy the battles. And that's a lot of the fun of the randomizer Nuzlocks is not knowing where you're going to find. This Mirgul is going for the struggle. Lucky for us, it is hitting itself with the recoil. And I'm going to try my best to train up Thanos a little bit. I think having Thanos higher in level will be really, really beneficial to us. I'm going to go for another peck. The Smeargle is just going for the struggles today. But lucky for us, we are hitting it with the recoil damage. So we're just going to keep on going. One more should just about do it since the poison is taking it down. Smeargle is going for the struggle. Hang in there, Thanos. And that should be it. We're going to take down the Smeargle. It's also level 14. So this is going to be massive XP for Thanos. I like it. You know, Thanos is going to need it. And we also learned Double Kick. Really, really good. We needed that. The more move types we have, the better. Thanos is almost a 13 as well. We defeated this youngster. I'm going to heal us up and we will be good to continue on. We are all healed up and ready to go. So let's keep on trucking through Route 3. And see what kind of Pokemon are going to be coming our way. We've been doing a good job so far. And I'm sure we'll keep it up. That is Bugcatcher James. He's going to send out a Pichu. That is the first Pichu that we've seen here in the Kanto region. Pretty cute. Pretty cool to see a little Pichu. I feel like I always have, you know, a soft spot for Pichus and Pikachus. It was my favorite Pokemon growing up. I love Pikachu. I have to tell you guys, I have so many Pikachu plushies and things of that sort. Because I was a big, big Pikachu fan growing up. Let's go for another double kick. The Pichu is just going for the charm. Thanos is almost level 13. Don't mess around, Thanos. Come on, Thanos. Don't mess around here. Thanos is confused. I guess you put a little charm on our Thanos. It's going to make things a bit difficult. And what can I say? I was just saying, Pichu's pretty cute Pokemon. So even our Pokemon aren't going to be able to resist that. The Thanos hit the double kick, though. And the Pichu is down. We are moving on through to the next Pokemon. As I was telling you guys, though, about superheroes, I've been watching them forever, you know? Ever since the first Hulk movie to the movies that are out now. We got Endgame. We got Infinity War. They've come a long freaking way. If I had to say what my favorite superhero movie was, though, there'd be a couple. There'd be a few of them. I really like Ant-Man. So I'm big into comedy, and I, I'm a big fan of just funny movies. I think the first Thor movie was really funny as well. So I think those are up there. But, you know, I also have to give it to some of those, you know, a little bit darker movies, a little bit more action-y. So I do like Black Panther because of that James Bond feel. So I'd have to say that all those are up there for me. I don't know if I have one favorite MCU movie or superhero movie in general, but those are definitely up there. I'm a big fan of action, of comedy, all that sort of stuff. I really just enjoy all types of genres in general. I watch a lot of television, a lot of movies. I feel like a lot of my inspiration for creating content actually comes from that. So it's kind of cool. I'm going to go for the peck here. And the poison sting is going to be coming out. Luckily, the Ekans isn't going to be doing a whole lot to us. <laughs> but I'm not going to be doing a whole lot to the Ekans either, it looks like. So let's switch it up. Let's send Seiya out here. And let's hope that Seiya can take down this Ekans without too much trouble. Ekans went for the Leer. We are going to be good here to continue moving through. So let's drop that Thunder Punch. Hey, the bite. There we go. There we go. That's what I was waiting for. Okay. So our static did hit it. For a second, I was like, what? This should be a lot easier with our static. The Ekans has gone down. We're going to gain some good XP here. We defeated Last Robin. Now, you guys know that we are on a brand new route, which means 
it is time for us to add another Pokemon to our team if we want to. So there are a couple different patches of grass around here for us to run through. I'm feeling this one. I'm feeling this one. So let's go ahead and battle this guy, and then we're going to be ready to go. Oh, check it out. He's like, I better take a rest. Oh, that tunnel takes a lot out of you. Ooh, there's going to be a tunnel that's going to be taking a lot out of us coming up. Wink, wink. Hint, hint. In preparation of that, we're going to add another Pokemon to our team. So here we go, ladies and gentlemen. <gasps> no way! <gasps> Holy mother of Arceus! <gasps> I just had to take a moment here because this is absolute insanity, okay? I was just talking about a legendary... The Pokemon that Professor Oak threw out at the beginning of this adventure was a Mewtwo. It feels like it is just meant to be out here. So let's go ahead and do it. We got Hercules up in front and we are going to be taking on Mewtwo level 6. Oh wow. Oh wow. Let's throw the Pokeball here then ladies and gentlemen. I do not even want to weaken the Mewtwo. Like I don't want to do anything to it. I am too scared to attack this Pokemon right now. I have 13 Pokeballs. We're going to throw as many as we can here. And we are going to try to add this Mewtwo to our team. Holy crap. I am having just a panic attack over here. I cannot believe we ran into a Mewtwo right now. Having a Mewtwo at the beginning of the adventure would be insane. Insane. Before the second gym, to come up on a Mewtwo, I would say that is wild. So I'm going to throw the Pokeball here. It is in the yellow, but it's also doing a bunch of damage to me right now. It went for the Disable, and we just gotta hope that Hercules can hang in here, because Mewtwo is turning out to be a much, much tougher opponent than we realize. Hang in here, Hercules! Here comes another confusion, ladies and gents! Hang in there! Holy crap, we are at 7 HP. We need to hang in here. I'm gonna switch out to Seiya. We're going to try to keep all our Pokemon alive as Mewtwo is doing an insane amount of damage. Okay, so the Disabled did come out. Ten Pokeballs left to go. Let's start chucking. Let's start trucking. Ooh, come on, Mewtwo. At least it's just popping those Disables. If it keeps using those, we might be good to go. What is the catch rate on a Mewtwo in a Randomizer Nuzlocke? Is it just as hard to catch as it normally would be? Because if that's the thing, this is going to be almost impossible almost impossible i'm telling you guys so i'm just gonna hope that one of these pokeballs hits it because i do not know if it's gonna stick oh my goodness this is insane this is one of the craziest encounters that we've had here mewtwo come on man come on dude just join us please just join us for the adventure you know you want to it's gonna be a great time my dude <gasps> yes we got you mewtwo was caught there we go there we go we got a mewtwo we got a mewtwo that is the genetic pokemon a rare pokemon i can't believe it high fives all around everybody that is insane we did it we caught mewtwo oh my goodness that is a huge dub big win for us it was created by a scientist after years of horrific gene splicing and dna engineering experiments that's mewtwo the genetic pokemon don't worry about it, Mewtwo. We are going to treat you much better. We are going to give a nickname to our Mewtwo. We are going to nickname our Mewtwo Frieza after one of my favorite villains from Dragon Ball Z. So with that, guys, I'd like you to welcome Frieza the Mewtwo to our team. We now have a Mewtwo. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. I'm still in awe. I am so happy that we got a Mewtwo. I'm definitely going to be training up Frieza so that it will be ready for our next couple battles that are going to be coming up. We have done an amazing job here today, guys. I am so proud of what we accomplished. We have made it out to Cerulean City's Cave. So next up, we'll be making our way through Mount Moon to Cerulean City. Hope you guys are ready, and I am definitely going to be ready. So... Stay tuned. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you hit that like button. If you're new to the channel, click the subscribe button and join the Purple Banditos today. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next episode of Pokemon Leaf Green Randomizer Nuzlocke. Goodbye!